Tonight, we heard the president outline his vision for putting our economy back on track and for putting Americans back to work. While I applaud his statements about the need to cut government spending, I'm wary of his open-ended calls for new taxpayer-financed investments. For the past two years, our Congress has charged record levels of spending to the national credit card by calling it investment and promising it would create jobs. Now our nation faces a crushing debt burden of $14 trillion in an economy that is still struggling to get back on its feet. Government has grown, but private sector jobs have not. It's become increasingly clear that our economy will remain in neutral until we put our fiscal house back in order. Businesses that are nervous about the possibility of tax increases are hesitant to begin hiring again. Congress must act quickly and in a bipartisan fashion to reduce spending and to develop a coherent plan to bring our debt under control. That's why I support efforts by our Republican leadership to cut spending back to 2008 levels. As a member of the Budget Committee, I will help craft a budget that will begin to shrink the size and intrusiveness of our federal government. We in Congress should immediately get serious about cutting spending in order to create the conditions for sustainable economic growth and job creation. Thank you.